Hey everyone, Dave here again, and uh, so my last blog was about when people tend to look for rural properties, which is the summer, and that's when the land and gardens aren't covered in snow and the sellers can showcase the beauty of their property and all it has to offer. Now, rural properties come with many other factors to consider when making an informed purchase. I could go on for quite some time, but I'll just get to some of them. First off, you're going to be on a septic system which should be inspected to make sure it's in good working order as replacing septic can be very costly. Secondly, you'll be on a well for your water and making sure the well has the necessary treatment systems for potable water and has the capability of supplying water for normal household use is also very important. And depending on what you're purchasing, other items to consider are conservation restrictions for development. If you're on a floodplain, any proposed developments in the area, and any tax incentives that come with the property like conservation tax credits, managed forest tax credits, agricultural tax credits, and more. Our team has knowledge in all of these areas and a lot of these, well all of them are outlined in our rural protection guide. Um, lots of great information in here. So when buying your next slice of rural paradise, make sure you know the ins and outs of buying rural property because it's completely different than buying in town. Anyways, we'll see you soon.